Good morning, Melissa. After Hurricane Helene, it was churchgoers that came together to get the doors back open. Now, unfortunately, Hurricane Milton came in, caused some more structural damage to the church. But once again, churchgoers are showing up and they're actually able to have a service today. Now, it won't be that 100 year celebration they were hoping for, but Pastor Amy tells me there's still going to be a really important message today. Good morning. What is the message you're hoping to give today? The message for today is, is not to give up. We're all exhausted. We're all frustrated. We're all angry. We don't know why just getting over Helene and now all of a sudden we're getting over Milton. Uh, we went from the stress of, of being flooded to the stress of being blown away. So their message today is going to be having that strength that God provides, keeping focused on the, uh, the, the overlying message is don't focus on your circumstances, focus on your goals. We have a goal. We want to get back to church. We want to get back to feeding the homeless. We want to get back to clothing the homeless and reaching out to our shut-ins. And we can do that. But if we let the circumstances fill our minds, there's no room for God's love. So we want to focus on staying positive. You know, a lot of people are talking about there's obviously a lot of devastation across the Tampa Bay area. But in the midst of all this, a lot of people are just grateful it wasn't worse. You know, the hurricane came in as a Cat 3 rather than a Cat 5. How do you think that helped save your building? Well, when it, the building is old. It was built in 1952. Now, the shingles are a little bit newer, but I was so worried, you know, it's not built to any hurricane standard that I was going to drive in Thursday morning and see the roof someplace else. But we came in, uh, uh, the basic structure has stood still. If you look at these windows, for example, on these beautiful stained glass windows that we have hard plexiglass covers to protect them, some of them had gotten sucked off in the wind and had debris that had been knocking against them, but not one pane of our beautiful glass got broken. I think it's a little bit of a miracle. It sure does sound like it. And, you know, they do have a few other buildings across the street from this church they haven't quite gotten to get to yet. But one of the buildings is a thrift store where they collect clothes for people in need who want to come and shop there to get some clothes. They aren't accepting those donations right now. They're still trying to get back on their feet a little bit but they will be doing that soon. So make sure to keep up with their Facebook page if you would like to help in any way with that. And this morning service is at 10 a.m. for anyone who wants to go. Reporting live in Ruskin, Chloe Sparks, 8 on your side.